Hey there, Fit Fam. Do you find yourself struggling when we do cable rows? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the two most common mistakes that us as trainers find when people are performing the cable row. Let's get right into it. So this can apply directly to a cable machine row like I'm gonna demonstrate today. It also applies um, to like if we're using a dumbbell or even a barbell row, um, all these kind of mechanics really align well, no matter what implement you're using. So whether you're using dumbbells, kettlebells to do your row or you're using a cable like this, these are also common mistakes that we find in those rows as well. So we're gonna grab the cable here, get in the row position. I'm gonna show you guys the first mistake, okay? First mistake we see is people don't actually ground and use their core when they're doing a row. Just like any exercise, you wanna maximally engage your nervous system to get the maximum results. So what does that look like? That looks like my feet being completely flat here, really kind of owning the floor. Chest is up tall. Notice the top of my head to my tailbone remain pretty much straight the entire time. Even if I do hinge forward, um, I'm maintaining a nice straight spine there, okay? so. Once we're in this position here, we want to activate our core. You can uh, just simply push your belly button out or brace your core down, and that's going to give us maximum core engagement. After that, we're going to squeeze this as hard as we can, okay? If we're loose here, our grip's not involved, that's going to give us less nervous system activation, that's going to give us less results. So to recap, feet are flatly um, pressed firm into the ground. I'm squeezing this bar as hard as I can. My chest is up tall, top of the head to the tailbone is straight. That is the first uh, thing that we want to get in proper positioning okay so proper core engagement proper nervous system engagement second most common error I see people pull up their elbows come out and they kind of row it up with these trap muscles here we actually want to target more of the mid back muscles here like your uh, lats as opposed to your upper trapezius muscles up here reason being is a lot of people, the rows are great for correcting what's known as forward shoulder when we're, we're hunched forward like this from being on our, on our desk or in our car all day. If we strengthen these muscles up here, it's gonna continue to kind of pull us forward in that direction. We actually wanna strengthen these muscles which are responsible for putting us in better posture there. So we're gonna grab here. I want you guys to imagine when you're doing this to keep prevent from pulling up high then we're gonna drag our elbows down kind of towards our thighs here. So nice thigh here. We're gonna pull our elbows nice and low, squeeze. Now I'm imagining there's someone putting their hands right between my shoulder blades, mid back, and I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades, not just back, but also down. And then repeat. So again, two things you could do instantly to get better at the row. One, engage your nervous system fully. Feet flat, flat into the ground firm. Grab that handle as, as tight as you can, straight back or engage. After that, we wanna make sure we're pulling nice and low. You can think about rubbing those elbows kind of against the thighs towards the belly button while keeping your chest up. That's gonna activate more of the, the lat muscles as opposed to your upper trap muscles. So that's all. Hope you guys learned something new about the road today. If you love this video, give me a heart. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And as always, stay strong.